What the fu- What the shit was that? There was- there was a, sh a shark or something! And we harpooned it, and we got an achievement that said we're gonna need a bigger boat! It was a fucking shark! Look at that! We caught a freaking shark! If that doesn't boost morale, fucking nothing will. We need a pirate crew this time. We need seasoned pirates this go around. Uh, so we need angry names. We need Captain Madbeard. Because it's like, yeah, he had a mad beard, like in the colloquial sense, but he was also, he, uh, he has a temper and facial hair. The eel right here, his name is Ricardo, so let's do Ricardo. It's always good to have an eel on board. Uncle Grumpa, because he's, he's grumpy. He's the, he's the grandfather of Captain Madbeard. Everything you've heard about Aquaman is true. Good and bad. Um, because he was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna pretend I drowned and then just swim home. He's like, I was just doing this for a day trip. Beef Mart. We'll bring back a classic. He's, he's trying to start a new life after the last game he was in. Good old Bobson Dugnut. If you don't remember Bob's and Dugnut, watch my Doki Doki Literature Club playthrough. I hope my crew knows what they're in for. They're gonna hear tales of how the other two crews that I commissioned to sail across the Atlantic for my amusement, uh, that they, they all died, and I wonder if they know that. Bob's and Dugnut has dysentery. Oh, dude, I'm sorry to hear that. First all that stuff with Monica and now, now uncontrollable pooping. While taking inventory, you find the food supply short 37 kilograms. After interrogating the crew, you discover that Beef Mart has been snitching larger portions. He's, he's like, I'm, my name is Beef Mart. I need beef. Punish Beef Mart. You may be a pirate, but you just crossed four other pirates and you don't take the food because that affects everybody. So yeah, bam! We oh shit, Beef Mart is fine. Flog. Oh my god, this is a new feature. Beef Mart is shaking. You know what? Three, three is three is plenty. Beef Mart glares at you but swears to cause no trouble. Your crew are solemn now, if not a bit belligerent. And we just saw that other that other ship, and we we're just like, mm, no. We did the Drake thing, like, mm, mm This ship, we're like, mm, maybe. It's a Spanish warship! Oh! It's a, it's a, it's a warring faction of some sort? What will you do? We have cannons, cannonball, hull strength 12, our banner is the English ensign. We, are, are, we, are we cool? The Spanish butcher, English ensign, and open fire! I didn't want to do this! There we go. Load those cannons. Sorry, buddy, but you started it. You started it. All right, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that, but you know what? You you angered the pirate in me. You took their banner, salvaged 16 cannonballs, and $64 after, after the wreck. Well, not $64, but 64 monies. Oh, and we got the, we got the leak over here. Because our, our hull integrity has been slightly compromised. Bob's and Doug knows well again. Cool. He's like, hey, what's up? I heard that I heard that the hull integrity was slightly compromised. So you know what? I'm fine. I'm I'm okay. I'll just I'll just walk it off. <laughs> Only up until this Oh, that fish took a bullet for that Marlin. That Marlin would have been so much food. We would have named it Marlin Brando. And we would have kept it skeleton and fashioned it into a guitar for a Majora's Mask cosplay of some sort. Delicious beverage of the pirate. 
Variety. Bob's and Doug not as dysentery. Way to keep up with the rhyme scheme. Thanks for coming down with a disease that could potentially kill you just to help. Well, again, see? See, you knew I was fucking around and you were like, oh, never mind. I'm all right. But dysentery. I wasn't doing it again. Unless, unless you're not joking around this time. You've gotten dysentery a lot on this trip. You, you should really reevaluate your diet. I mean, it's like, it's, it's as if you're, you're only eating fish or something. Beef Mart is dysentery. You see what you started, Bob's and Dugnut? Uncle Grumpa has dysentery. Oh, geez. Something's going around, man. The ship ahead draws near and they're flying a black flag. All right, all hands on deck. Just just wad up some TP and put it in your underwear because we gotta attack. There we go. Oh no. Oh, why are we lagging? There we go, come on. We gotta, we gotta aim really high up. Gee whiz. Oh, don't hit me, please. Why is this going in, like, slow motion? Yeah! Oh, man. The game is going in such slow motion. It's, it's to convey... Oh, my God, our hull integrity is too... We can't so much as run into a fish on the rest of the way. Ricardo caught influenza. Damn it, everybody is sick. The ship is falling to shit. And we're only like a little over halfway there. Beef Mart as well again. Good. To help me fish. This is oddly calming. This is actually making me feel a little bit better. Nothing bad happens when we're fishing. Beef Mart has typhus. You didn't get well again to get typhus. Captain Madbeard is dysentery. This ship must smell terrible. It probably smells like a cat shelter at best. Like a bat. Bob's and Dugnut is well again. Good. Lead by example. Captain Madbeard is well, well again. Good. Good to know. See? Two of them are getting better. Nobody's dead. Bob's and Dugnut is typhus. You've been hanging out with Beef Mart too much. Beef Mart has died of typhus. That's what happens to people who steal the food. While taking inventory, you find the food supply is short 38 kilograms. It was only 37 last time. After interrogating the crew, you discover that Ricardo has been snitching the larger portions. It was you all along. Food was still getting stolen even after Beef Mart died. Punished Ricardo. Yes, Ricardo is shaking. Yeah, good. Shake some more for me. Shake what your mama gave you. There's three right there. Four. You know what? Because, because you stole one more kilogram, you got one more lashing. So I'm done. What the fuck? What the shit was that? That was that was a, sh a shark or something, and we harpooned it, and we got an achievement that said we're gonna need a bigger boat. What the shit just happened? But we successfully got it. It was a sh it was a freaking it was a fucking shark. Look at that. There's a shark and some turtles and mostly fish, but we got it. We caught a freaking shark. If that doesn't boost morale, fucking nothing will. No, we are hardened pirates. We sank another ship. We had to bury someone at sea. We all got dysentery and Captain he just keeping up with it. He just wants to be cool. Captain Dis Captain I almost said Captain Dysentery. Captain Madbeard has dysentery. <laughs> Uncle Grandpa has died of dysentery. Well, it's, a, it's such a shame. We just bumped up the portions of food, and now we can keep them bumped up. Because now there's more food to go around. Your crew has spot a floating crate. Would you like to open it? I don't know, Kyogre. What do you think? I think we should. It might have food inside. Inside the crate, you find a bottle of medicine. All right.
right. Margarita ahead. Let's check it. Oh shit, I didn't check it. I, I meant to check it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. I think. Oh, there is a small possibility I may have completely just fucked this whole crew. You're so close to- you're so close to your new home. Oh, shit. Whew! Our hull integrity just needs to hold out for less- for less than a hundred miles. Ricardo is well again, just in time to get there. He's like, oh, what? We're- we're- we're near- we're near high-class restaurants that don't serve seafood? All right, I'm suddenly feeling better. I can- I can drink some pineapple juice. Ricardo is necessary. He's like, oh, nope, never mind. I got it for real this time. Don't die. We're like 12 miles out. If we dump you overboard here, then they're gonna know. They're gonna be like, we saw you do that all the way from the pier. Hey! We did it! That was fun! I had a good time. We- we had... We had a good time together. I enjoyed that.